In great news for Indian defense enthusiasts, for the first time ever, the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has unveiled a life-sized 1 to 1 model of India's indigenous 5th generation stealth fighter jet, the AMCA or the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft. The life-size AMCA display has grabbed the spotlight at Aero India 2025 alongside the Russian Su-57 Felon and the American F-35. What's more, now Rolls-Royce has made an attractive offer of 100% transfer of technology to partner the AMCA engine development. British Rolls-Royce becomes the second manufacturer after France's Saffron to offer a 100% tech transfer in a bid to ban the multi-billion dollar Indian defense deal. American firm GE Aerospace is also in the race and a final decision on AMCA engine partner may be taken before the end of Aero India 2025. India's highly anticipated 5.5 generation AMCA fighter jet is on static display at HAL's pavilion at the Air Force Station Yelahanka, Bengaluru at Asia's largest air show starting on the 10th of February. HAL confirmed in a statement quote, The India pavilion of HAL will showcase the CAX Warrior system, AMCA and RUAV and the outdoor display will include LCA Tejas Mark 1A and HJT-36." Unquote. Unveiling India's flagship ANCA signals a rapid advancement in aerospace technology and design, even though the jet is set for induction in a decade from now, in 2035. The public display indicates that ANCA program is transitioning now into its critical phases after the completion of the aircraft design phase and the clearance of the critical design review by the Indian Air Force. Now, this initiative aligns with India's goals of achieving self-reliance in defence technology as well as defence manufacturing. Alongside the anchor, the HAL is also proudly displaying the light utility helicopter. HAL Chairman DK Sunil stated, quote, Apart from the indigenously designed and developed Light Utility Helicopter or LUH, HAL's R&D divisions will also showcase various innovative products in avionics, mechanical systems, engines and aerospace technologies for both manned and unmanned aircraft." Unquote. The ANCA model's display will attract attention from defence experts and potential international partners fostering collaborations and investments. The battle to power India's fifth-generation fighter jet is heating up as AMCA has already become a subject of international interest, with United States of America and France already competing for their respective engines to be used in India's stealth fighter jet. Rolls-Royce has now become the latest firm to make a significant proposal for the joint development of aircraft engines. The potential joint venture involves co-manufacturing of the thrust low bypass engines of a 110 kN category. Now, this EJ200 engine is already being used as the power plant for the Eurofighter Typhoon fighter jet. This engine exceeds or matches the most demanding international standards for operational support required by the US, Europe and other international customers. Rolls-Royce's revolutionary offer entails a complete transfer of intellectual property rights for jointly developed engine. Owning the IP rights will allow India to own this critical technology, facilitating future upgrades and potential exports of this engine. Rolls-Royce is working closely with the DRDO to ensure ease of transfer of capabilities to India, established manufacturing base in India as well. The offer also indicates deepening of defence ties between India and the UK. The front-runner in this high-stakes collaboration is not just Rolls-Royce, but also French aerospace giant Safran, which has already made a 100% TOT offer. The French bid for the $5 billion deal offers co-development of the engine along with production line in India, ensuring local manufacturing of the 110 kN thrust engines. Former Indian ambassador to France, Javed Ashraf, confirmed last year, quote, the deal aims to delve into the actual design phase, metallurgical aspects and other critical elements that contribute to developing advanced jet engines." Unquote. With prior experience in supplying turbine engines for Indian helicopters, France is already India's second biggest defence supplier after Russia but ahead of the United States of America. France has repeatedly reminded India as well that Paris has been a steadfast ally in its defence ties 
with New Delhi. US manufacturer General Electric also remains a strong contender for India's ambitious AMCA project. The deal with General Electric is for the manufacturing license of the already operational F414 engine which will already be made in India for the Tejas Mark II program. While the F-414 will power the initial squadrons of the AMCA, Indian Air Force may see co-development of a bigger engine with a 110 kN thrust capacity or more. Still, for the first time ever, the United States has allowed another country to manufacture its prized GE F-414 engines outside its borders, marking a historic moment in growing India-US defence ties. The GE aerospace deal also involves the transfer of critical technologies including various metal logical and manufacturing details including machining and coating of single crystal turbine blades, nozzle guide vanes and ceramic matrix components, thermal barrier coating for the hot end, laser drilling of combustor and bottle boring of shafts. However, as per reports, the US firm is reluctant to part with a 100% transfer of technology. All eyes are now on the Indian government's final decision, which will depend on factors including transfer of technology, cost-effectiveness and the level of commitment to manufacturing the engines in India. Reports suggest a final decision on the AMCA engine partner may be taken before the end of Aero India 2025. So who should India choose to power the AMCA? Rolls-Royce, Safran or GE Aerospace? Let's quickly take a look at some more news updates. India is all set to procure 26 Rafale marine fighter jets from France in a deal valued at 7 billion euros or about 50,000 crore rupees. This agreement is expected to be signed in April 2025 during the visit of the French Defence Minister to India. This strategic acquisition includes 22 single-seater jets and and four trainer versions of the cutting-edge Rafale marine aircraft. These state-of-the-art jets will be deployed aboard India's indigenous aircraft carrier, the INS Vikrant, significantly bolstering the Indian Navy's maritime strike capabilities. But that's not all. Alongside these formidable jets, India will also acquire advanced weaponry, including long-range Meteor air-to-air -air missiles and anti-ship munitions. The first batch of the Rafale marine jets is anticipated to be delivered to India within 37 months after the contract is signed. India's Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft or AMCA is set to enhance aerial warfare with its innovative Beast Mode. This capability allows the aircraft to maximize firepower for deep strike missions by utilizing external hard points for greater payload of missiles and bombs sacrificing some stealth in the process if needed. Now, this will be activated when enemy air defense systems have been neutralized. The beast mode provides a tactical edge in less contested environments. This mode alters flight dynamics as well due to added weight and drag, offering pilots unique training opportunities to master various combat scenarios. The AMCA's adaptability positions it as a formidable asset in modern military aviation. Leave a comment with your opinion, hit the like button and subscribe to InConnect News.